This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Denver, Colorado. We're at Peregrine Studios, home of Lightwear Products. I am here with the owner and founder, instructor, inventor. Paul, let me ask you this. First of all, for over 30 years, you yourself have been a professional photographer, but what got you involved in the photographic industry? When I was a young man, about the age of 12, I was given a brownie camera, and the magic started then. Fast forward a few years up, 20 years ago, you decided to uh, put some of your ideas to work. Tell me what basically happened when you came up with Lightwear. We were on the road shooting for General Mills. We were shooting an annual report, and we were in Ohio at the time shooting a Red Lobster restaurant. And going through the airport, handling all of these calzone, uh, that's brand name, uh, metal, heavy, plywood, rolling wheels, corners, there had to be a better, a better way. There were four of us that had to manage all of that gear and all that weight, and I just said, there's got to be a better way to do it. Share with us some of the differences now that you're able to use as far as uh, the construction and the materials that are used inside some of your products. Well, the big key about what makes Lightwear different than anything else is our superstructure. It's the molded shell that is on the inside of the product. It is a foam plastic fiber compound that is manufactured in a vacuum and then we mold it here on the premises in basically into a huge tray and that is impact and shock resistant. So that's the real key that makes the product work is that unique material that I found close to 23 years ago. So it's basically a hard material. How does that hold up in water? Well, the hard material, it'll float. It'll float like anything else. So, you know, as long as you don't submerge it completely, it, it'll act just exactly like a boat. Is this material, was this something founded uh, by California? Oh, Tell me where it got its origination. Well, originally, it started as a project for Walt Disney. They wanted to have a material for their boats in the amusement parks. And it was developed for them by a company by the name of Uniroyal at the time. And it uh, evolved to a material that currently now is used for canoes, boat hulls, uh, a lot of bumpers and automobiles right now that it doesn't grow milled, uh, mold or mildew. And so it's a very unique property in the product itself. I know one thing, lugging around equipment, be it in the field or through an airport, quite honestly, it has to be very durable. And uh, what, what are the first things that you usually give out on particular items and how do you make sure things are reinforced? The, the first thing that gives out on anything are wheels. So if you have a rolling case that you carry on board, nine times out of 10, the first thing that's gonna fail is the wheels. The second thing that will fail will be the zippers. And for all of us in the industry, we're all pretty much reliant on one major supplier. So YKK, which is pretty much the top of the heap as far as industrial zippers, we're all subject to the same rules of the road, you might say, of using the same type high quality zipper. But you know, once you're flying an airplane, it's all open to negotiation. You got it. Let me ask you this. This is a, a U.S. made product as well as U.S. serviced right out of here of Denver. Share with me what kind of uh, warranties you create or what kind of service you provide for your folks. We pretty much have a, a lifetime guarantee on the shell, but we do not lifetime warranty uh, the material because it's like a pair of jeans. They're going to eventually wear out. So, but in, anything of reasonable nature will perform without cost but you know for the most part one thing that we repair the most are zippers as long as photography has been around we've always needed a place to put our equipment to protect our equipment and obviously photography is still that of painting with light share with me your latest uh, invention if you will called foursquare and what you're able to do there foursquare is an idea that came up about uh, three years ago we were trying to solve a problem for a friend for a magazine article we wanted to put four speed lights into one umbrella, and there wasn't anything on the market at the time. So a little tinkering and a little ingenuity and a little prototyping, we came up with a metal four square block that allows us to have a box, a soft box, and a mechanism for holding four speed lights that would act in essence like one large strobe tube in the soft box. 
you also have an extension on there as well that you can get that'll hold even more than the four. Yes, we can get it all the way up to nine. It's a unique kind of twist and turn on the design of the block. It took some thinking. I had a lot of help with this because there were, it was just not myself, but a lot of people said, well, what if, you know, what if we did this or if we did that? That's a lot of how that product developed. So this is great for your Strobo people out there, the guys that you love Absolutely. speed lights. Really, um, speed lights are great because of the fact that you can basically get them in and out of airports pretty easily. Is your unit a complete unit that also can be packed up rather easily? Yes, it is. It packs up to being only about 18 inches long and about uh, three and a half to four inches in diameter. So it's a great tool out there in the field for, for these photographers to be using. Let me ask you this. You are a photographer yourself. Do you still do any of the photographic arts? I know you're, you're an instructor as well. Um, do you still have that passion for photography? Absolutely. Absolutely. If I didn't, I don't think I would be here. I love photography. It is a passion. It's, um, it's like a mistress, but I am married. So it's with me all the time. I mean, it's, it's just, it's a wonderful thing to be able to make and create images that, that people enjoy looking at. I notice on your walls here, you've got some uh, great art of some classic cars. Is that one of your, your own personal hobbies? Uh, yes, I love classics. And uh, we've done a whole series of interesting automobiles from a variety of collectors. And uh, some of the work that we have up here on the wall represents those unique cars that I've photographed in the past. Speaking of automobiles, you really enjoy a challenge when it comes to lighting. Even if you've got a local dealership here that needs to light up some cars, is this, are these projects things that really keep you up at night? <laughs> Not keep me up at night, but keeps me thinking. A way to come up with a solution to be able to solve a problem is really, is really a lot of fun in the challenge. Also, like I said, you were an instructor. Students out there that are coming in the photographic world, uh, do you think photography will be an uh, art that will continue on, and is the passion still alive? It will continue on. Yes, it will be an art. However, it will continue to change year after year after year. Technology is at a point right now, it's changing every six months, and I would imagine in five years from now, we'll absolutely have no idea of why we were using what we were using today. I mean, it's, it's changing that fast and that quick. Folks, and as you know, basically check out Peregrine Studios on the bottom of the screen. What you've got is their website right there. It's basically an ongoing blog, quite honestly. It's a photographer that started over 30 years ago with a love and passion of photography. He went on in 20 years, basically ago, he decided that uh, there's got to be a better way when he was out on a road trip shooting for a corporate client, and uh, he came up with a great product called Lightwear. Now you've got multiple sizes that can take care of almost all of your equipment out there, be it in the field or in your studio. And also, if you want to check out right on the bottom of the screen is the Lightwear Direct. Also, you can find out where you can order the Foursquare. Foursquare basically has been written up and uh, it's really taken the industry by storm, but it's obviously something that a photographer decided there was a need for. And when that happens, all the rest of us line up. This is Gary Atencio with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.